Hi everyone, I'm going to review what my life as Ava eats in a day. So you might want to wash your hands before you make this for your family. Did you do that? <laughs> what? <laughs> guys it's Ava and welcome back to my channel today I'm doing a super special video that so many people always ask me to do I did this video last year and you guys really really liked it and I haven't for some reason done one since then but if you guys follow me on Instagram you see me cooking all the time as you can see I just woke up out of bed so I am fresh faced no makeup on she looks super pale and as you could see it said vegan edition she used to make vegan videos and now hardly any I'm guessing that she's plant-based, possibly vegetarian at this point, but she doesn't want to admit it to her viewers. The point here is that she still promotes a very toxic and unhealthy diet. We're doing it and I am cooking breakfast. Today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day, vegan edition, cooking edition. Freaking butterfly just hit the window. I hate butterflies. Ah! Give this video a big thumbs up. If Not you vegan, like what I cook confirmed. for you guys, give this video to 100,000 likes. See if we can do that. And other than that, let's get into the video. Let's go cook some breakfast. Yep. Oh, and subscribe. Super fake, but cringy, annoying. Okay, Ugh. so for breakfast, we're going to be making a of Typically for breakfast, I like to make one of two things, either a sweet breakfast, like a pancake. One of the fakest people I've seen like in my whole like life. <laughs> no joke. Situation. So today we're going to be making toast with bacon, vegan bacon, of course, some greens, tomatoes. For this, you're going to need some bread. For bread, I use Dave's Killer Bread, thin sliced 20 Killer bread, <laughs> that's right. This bread, guys, is the only bread I buy. Kale. You can use spinach, kale, arugula. I hate arugula, but you do you. You're going to need... All humans hate all greens. You're not alone. Kale is incredibly toxic. Don't lie that you don't hate that too. And as I said, killer bread? Of course, because all bread is going to kill you. It causes heart disease, diabetes, and everything. It's sugar and carbohydrates. Complete processed junk. A tomato. Fake bacon, if you want. I actually never liked fake meats at all. I didn't mess with... I didn't... Me I didn't mess with them. And then I decided, you know, why not just try out some fake bacon? And this bacon is so good. You need the Kite Hill Vegan Ricotta. This stuff, I could eat like ice cream. It is so, so good. And of course, for any amazing breakfast to start your day, you need your iced coffee. I wanna tell you guys how I make my coffee. It's very simple. We're just gonna get that out of, out of the way. First thing you'll need is the coffee. If you're lazy and you don't wanna like make your coffee, which I totally- It doesn't matter if you eat plant-based or completely vegan, as long as you don't eat mostly animal foods, of course you will need coffee. You have no energy. You admit it by showing the coffee. She has 10 million subscribers, lots of impressionable young girls who will buy the fake toxic bacon, believing that that's what she eats. They just follow blindly. Get and I don't want to make my coffee every day. You also don't want to spend like $4 every day for coffee. You should probably get something like this, a giant jug of iced black coffee. This stays good in your refrigerator for literally months. This creamer is so good, so delicious, dairy-free oat milk creamer and creamy vanilla. Y'all know real bacon takes forever to make. The bacon looks like this. I know it looks crusty. Ready for this, guys? It is that simple. That took five minutes to make bacon. How long does it take to make real bacon in your house? A long time. We're going to take our vegan ricotta, smear it on the toast. She's the perfect slave, promoting fake bacon, fake meat in general. It's trendy on the outside, but there's an agenda behind it to replace meat. She buys right into it. It's toxic sludge. If you cook it, you make it even worse. Actual bacon, you can eat raw. It's of course salted and not as good as normal raw meat, but still, it's better than when you cook it with a crust. Clearly, people who buy fake bacon want to eat bacon. That's the only reason they buy it. <laughs> the same reason you put on whatever that is on the bread, which looks like some kind of dairy imitation. Next, we're going to add some chia seeds. Some crispy bacon. 
Absolute delusion. Salt, some black pepper. And voila! Ah, it is that. Why film it five times? Mm. Oh. So that was breakfast. I got the peanut butter chocolate smoothie because it's filled with protein. I got the mystic. This tastes like ice cream. I think we belong with the turtles. There's already too many of them. Riley, tell us about your metal straw. You keep it with me everywhere I go and I put it in my smoothie. Do you have an issue with that? It's a bit hard to suck right now, but I'm saving the planet. This is just destroying the planet. This paper straw here. Baked mac and cheese. Baked mac and cheese. With zucchini. <gasps> That's gonna be so Ooh. good. Hey, MTV. Hey and guys. It, it, Welcome back to my corner of Ava's house, the pantry. I need protein powder because obviously we want that protein. Are we actually putting that in there? Duh. I put it in everything I make. So along with the mac and cheese, I think we should also make bread pudding. For You're like just admitting that you can get protein from fall, plants. We should be festive. Why do I have a food baby before we've even eaten? <laughs> I've already unbuttoned. Step number Plouted one, make your typical. So basically you're trying to get your cheese like all melted, you know? We're using the Daya cheeses. This is my favorite vegan cheese that I ever get. It's Miyoko's so garlic herb. Um, <laughs> it's literally expired. <laughs> it's been expired for like- Two week like, expired. Two weeks. But it's never been opened, so like, I think we're good. Pour oh. it all oh. over the mac and cheese. Mix it up until- That's incredibly disgusting. I'm just gonna mix the zucchini in to get a little bit of green. More so now. We zone. Oh. We don't value sanitation in this kitchen. No. Nope. Or like botulism, so. Oh wait, oh. that's with chickens. I thought botulism is from your car. So you might want to wash your hands. As I've said before a million times, the slaves used to make noodles because they had no meat. That's why they added the sauce red because it imitates blood and meat. They added the cheese because it's some form of animal food, but they of course didn't have what they actually wanted. In this case, she has fake cheese with noodles, which are just fiber and sugar, and then a red sauce with all nutrients. It's a horrible meal. It has nothing nutritionally. Vegans only make it because they crave meat so much. That's it. I'm gonna show you guys how to make icing. That's really, really good tastes amazing and also tastes really like i don't want to say it tastes healthy because i feel like that's going to make you think it tastes gross it tastes like you're not doing something that makes bad, no sense you know <laughs> you're gonna need extra firm tofu maple syrup some cashews but everything that is healthy tastes good extract, she talking a about bit. absolute slave food that's good. We can always come back. There's always second slops. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Mmm. The zucchini in it adds like juiciness. I think you would tell me to put more salt in it. You need more salt. Why would you add salt? Of course, because plants don't have a lot of sodium. You get a mineral imbalance. Whereas meat has the exact perfect amount that your body needs. That's it. You're trying to make it taste more like meat, in other words. Absolutely impeccable. So it's the end of Absolutely the Absolutely fake sludge the pumpkin bread for two incredibly it. fake Whoa. people. Just a horror movie. It's really hard to watch people like this. Everything they do is fake. It's acting non-stop for the camera. To make money as i said at the start of the video it's hard to understand what she actually eats in a day because this was a vegan edition she has a lot of vegan fake foods but from what i understand she quit that a while ago it's very typical the same with rovana and all of those who promoted veganism when they actually already quit a while ago it's very hard for them to come out because it destroys their image maybe not so much for her because she's not a well-known vegan as such but of course it would still put a dent in her image which is what they need that's how they make money the biggest problem is that she's promoting veganism to all of her viewers as i said because plants don't have over 50 nutrients she's promoting malnutrition to a large audience the fake meat agenda also it's overall just a terrible influence on everybody 
Thanks for watching.